Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. Thanks so much for stopping by. Very famous photo, President Richard Nixon talking to uh, from the Oval Office to Buzz and Neil directly on the surface of the moon. How advanced could they have been? Wow, in 1969, uh, first time trying the telephone on the moon directly from the office. So they, I guess they had already installed the connection. Uh, so yeah, an amazing souvenir. You know, why am I showing this? There was a lot, before we go look at my footage, there was a lot revolving around the Apollo 11 landings and many people were working, many families are involved and still today are affected by the Apollo 11 uh, supposed moon landings. Whether they did or not, I'm not here to tell you guys that I'm here to show you evidence and that's all. This is an enhanced photo that I've enhanced, uh, just a regular enhancement. Uh, and I wanna talk about something. Um, in particularly about the color and the certain objects and their colors. So, you know, I adjusted it. I put color, showed the color on the surface because this photo is actually, I'll show you the original, um, is this. Yeah, um, this is the surface that they present, you know, the Apollo 11 stuff. And look at Earth. I find it funny there's a line around that Earth. Looks like it was... I'm not going to say it. Anyways, so this is showing with more detail and enhanced after I enhanced it. And we'll zoom in and looking at... Okay, here's the thing. I'm going to say straight out. Okay, I've been wanting to say this for years. This photo, so long me, and I'm just giving my opinion. We have a colorful lander. Examine this. Very, very colorful lander. We have a colorful earth. And we have a very gray and faded moon so i'm going to show you just the difference with a little bit of color and i mean this is how it should have been applied so that everything in the color would have been evenly distributed through the photo again it's just me but this is how you know i would have presented this photo so i've added a little bit of color in the photo without exaggerating to apply a um, layer of color and now we're going to simply not even up the contrast we're just going to descend the exposure and you will see that the exposure right now is because this is why we're seeing the white surface by descending the exposure it will not even affect the lander nor the earth at all its intensity of light but it will just bring out um, more surface color but you have to stop uh, just before it starts getting black watch and every time I show it like this and my work like this which is by the way the same surface by the way the way I'm showing the color on the surface is, is the same as in this photo. And it's not that they were manipulating the photo. It's just that they didn't maybe make an effort to zoom in and get the surface color, right? And it's a flick of a switch. It's one little up in the contrast, uh, lower the contrast or up the contrast or put the light up or, you know, it's not hard to um, change a couple of millimeters of distance of taking a photo it changes the view absolutely so much so you know if they took it out further out the photo and that's why they're not seeing the gray if they would have taken it before landing they would have seen probably even some structures in some of their photos and again it's just my opinion this is in x-ray of the surface the apollo 11 moon landing site. I want to go see that. This is Mare Fecunditatis, by the way. I want to go see that a bit more in detail. Mare Chrysium here, the brown spot at the top. And uh, so, like, hold on, we'll descend here. So this is basically the photo we just saw with the lander. You're like, what? No. Yes. We're over Mare Tranquilitatis right here. Proclus Crater, as we're descending down, there's Proclus Crater. And here are the beautiful colors in the mares. And that's where the landing site is, supposedly. And here's the Apollo 17 landing site. So they're uh, one across the other at a distance of, well, well, let's go see how big Mare Tranquilitatis is. Mare Tranquilitatis is 873 kilometers or 542 miles. So on each end of Mare Tranquilitatis, we have about just under a thousand kilometers apart the two Apollo landings, Apollo 17 and Apollo 11. Apollo 16 is just to the bottom right here. We'll go see that in the coming days. Look at the area where I'm pointing to. There, there, and the other crater there. 
these are the objects that would have been visited and those are where parts of the objects that NASA declares are still on the surface. So this particular area is very interesting and will be for the next coming year as we study it. It's said that they landed to the left 60 meters west of Little West Crater. Now it's hard to find exactly where it is but this is the exact area right there right in it so Little West Crater could be one of these craters like I said that I was pointing to before and we're right there inside of the the area the diameter of Little West Crater is 30 miles and where I just pointed to where I thought it was well that would be all the area where they are walking and you see how it's a very dark surface so uh, the mountains around are creating shadows on the surface we'd have to zoom in but uh, it's all very possible to do and that's what we'll continue doing so we're going to we're going to get in pretty close to the moon landing before finishing the video we're going to really zoom in um, to get in and just try to stop at the very moment it's going to get blurry so good news two passes uh, of very clear footage of the surface we see a lot of objects and i'll tell you what we do see the surface and it looks like a bloody shipping yard okay now why do we just see a regular gray surface why the heck did they, did they not show us at least the real surface just with my 14 inch telescope we can clearly see it we're going to zoom in right now to this area right there looking at the now i'm understanding the landing uh area so long what they say anyways looking online so look at the surface now and look at the craters the supposed craters that are actually oscillating uh little west in the uh, one of those for sure and these are the little craters that we see between this crater and that crater is where they're going to do their walk and in here in the center is where all the things would be the flag apparently and everything now we're getting very close but we're not close enough yet but we are going to get in close uh, during the this shot of a zoom in and the next and you'll see we'll get in closer to the next one until we blur but uh, and apollo 16 is just over down here guys in the bottom left we're coming up to that we'll be coming up to that in another video probably the next video try to get some surface of that area do a little bit of research on that Apollo mission and uh, I'm learning a lot by doing this I'll tell you that hey it's as close as we can get is with a telescope I guess you know a telescope is all that's gonna get us to see the surface where they would or could have landed but uh, here we go we're gonna go all out we're gonna really try to get in very close probably even too close to see the surface but we see it really nice here the detail of the surface so you know and you can always tell by where they landed by that little light there that's coming up right there well they didn't land there they landed just below it right coming up exactly there i'm right on the money right here they say that they landed and that would be 60 meters from little west crater so long what they said guys if any of you have ufo videos you'd like to send in to my channel to have seen in a video please send them to bruce swartz 75 a commercial gmail.com short description and your name manel delay thanks for the contributions for being a part of this community